Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming Floor. Today in this short video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up and protect your maps that you're making. So as a map maker, one of the worst things that can happen to you is something happens in relation to your computer or your hardware and you lose all progress on your map and you may have been spending hundreds of hours on this waiting to get it done. So one of the main things in terms of map making that you should be doing on the side is backing up your maps and making sure you don't lose your progress. So I'm going to be discussing three ways to do this and hopefully you guys will be able to use at least one. One of them. So the first main way of doing this has to do with actually moving the map files themselves. Now if you guys weren't aware, inside of the unturned folders, there is a maps folder where your map is held. And your map folder itself can be moved from place to place, and it won't really mess up your map at all. It won't corrupt it. You can give it to your friend on a flash drive and he can put it in his maps folder and he'll be able to see your map. So this gives us a lot of flexibility about how we are able to back up our maps because they are just contained inside a single folder. So let's start by going over one of the easiest ways to back up your map. Essentially, all you have to do is take your maps in your maps folder and copy them to somewhere else on your hard drive. It could be on your desktop, it could be in your documents. It's really up to you, but if you do that, it allows you to back them up in a separate location. Now the main reasons for doing this is perhaps you need to reinstall or uninstall unturned and perhaps your maps folder gets wiped out. Well of course your maps are not synced to the Steam cloud and if you're wiped out on your local computer they're pretty much just gone. So having that secondary location where you just copy and paste your maps into it occasionally is a good way of just initially backing up your maps. Now of course this is not perfect. This does a good job if maybe you saved a map and you didn't want to save it so you want to revert to an older version. You can definitely do that. Or let's say your unturned folder gets corrupted and you have to delete it all. You still have a backup of that. But what if your hard drive goes out? Now this is something that happens to very few of us and hopefully not many of you guys will experience it but it's a terrible thing and pretty much when it happens there's nothing you can do about the data that you've lost. Essentially it's all gone. You cannot get it back. And the only real way around this is by either getting a second hard drive or storing them on the internet. Now if you do happen to be fortunate enough to have a second hard drive or you're wanting to get one anyway, definitely perhaps save those extra maps onto your second hard drive. That way if one fails, you still have the map files on the other hard drive. Also, if you're planning on saving it onto another hard drive, you can use something called file history if you're using Windows to do that automatically. Essentially with file history is every so often file history will save a group of locations to another location, preferably on the second hard drive, and it'll do this automatically for you. So it'll periodically make backups of your files and if you ever need to restore them, you'll know where to look for them. Now the last and probably the best option for permanently keeping your files safe is to store them online. Now there's a couple good options for this. One of them has to do with Google. So if you have a Gmail, then you'll automatically have Google Drive. And I think by default nowadays, you have 15 gigabytes of space on your Google Drive that you can save things. The nice thing about this is that it's available anywhere that you have internet. And most of the time, you'll be able to store tons and tons of maps up there because maps don't tend to be very large. So best case scenario is occasionally you should upload your maps to your Google Drive. And even if your entire computer gets wiped out, maybe your house burns down, you don't have multiple hard drives and your hard drive fails, no matter what, you will be able to recover your files because they're on the cloud and on the internet. So as long as you've got the internet, you can re-download them, put them in your maps folder on your current computer, and you'll be able to work on your maps. Another way that you can kind of store your maps on the cloud is by uploading them to the Steam Workshop. In the same way that you can store your files on Google Drive, if you publish your maps to the workshop, maybe just privately or even publicly, you'll always be able to re-download them no matter what computer you're on. And then, of course, if you own the maps, you can start editing them again and add to them. So I would highly suggest that all of you map makers, anybody that's working on any sort of project like this, I suggest that you guys would back up your files because even though you think it may not happen to you, you could potentially lose your maps and you might lose all your hard work and it's really devastating when this happens. So it's good to just have something in place already to make sure you're prepared for that risk and if and when it does happen, you'll be very thankful that you do have those backups of your maps. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something about computers, about how to back up your maps. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see some more and I'll see you all later.